The disinformation we have seen contributes to a climate of fear and division when at a time like this, what we need is cooperation and understanding. Let's be clear, disinformation during a pandemic will cost lives. Concerningly, we have seen disinformation pushed and promoted around the coronavirus pandemic and around some of the social pressures that have been exacerbated by the pandemic. The European Commission issued a report last week that concluded foreign actors and countries, in particular Russia and China, had carried out targeted disinformation campaigns seeking to undermine democratic debate and exacerbate social polarisation and improve their own image in the COVID-19 context. For our part, it is troubling that some countries are using the pandemic to undermine liberal democracy, to promote their own more authoritarian models. There were those who said that by speaking out, by seeking a review, we made ourselves a target and brought upon ourselves an unnecessary cost for a cause that would have been championed anyway by others whose size and stature made them more suitable standard bearers. There are times to pursue quiet diplomacy behind the scenes. But there are also times to voice our concerns and persuade others of the need for a course of action.